Hello Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome to your tarot reading here at the Intuitive Teacup. I'm happy to have you all. Please come into this tarot reading with an open heart and an open mind. Take away only what resonates for you and release the rest. Do trust your own intuition, intuition <laughs> above all else because you are accountable and responsible for all your own actions and decisions. Let's go ahead and set the intention to get Libra some clear, helpful, insightful messages wherever they are at on their spiritual path currently. All right, one more good shuffle for Libra. Let's do it. All right, who or what is coming in to Libra? What is their energy presenting as? Who or what is coming in for Libra? Seven of Swords, wah, wah. All right, let's see, a little more. Why the Seven of Swords? Okay, this is its own story. We're gonna we're gonna pause right here. All right, this is good. We're gonna wrap this up quick because I already don't like the energy. So you have someone who's on and off, on and off, on and off, hot and cold. They can't let you go, and yet when you hang out with them, they put their walls up or or they don't really let you in, and it sets you up for heartbreak and disappointment every time. Um, I'm gonna get you a new message. Don't get me wrong, but like this this needed to come out the bat for someone out there who needed to hear this. Yeah, look for new love. Look for new love. This is something where the energy isn't shifting or isn't changing. So if you're like, oh, is my ex going to call me? Am I going to hear from that person who ghosted me? Yeah, you probably will. But nothing positive is going to come of it. I, you know, I just have to be honest. Let's uh, let's throw some ooh, let's throw some zodiac signs on that and wrap it up. Let's help Libra get confirmation for the one or two Libras that really needed to hear this message. What zodiac signs are associated most with this message? Gemini, Pisces, Taurus, and Taurus. You have double Taurus energy. We'll roll again. Anything else that needs to come out? Sagittarius. All right, so Libra dealing with Gemini, Pisces, Taurus, Sagittarius. Again, only take this message if it is resonating with you, if this storyline is familiar, if you know you're dealing with someone who's hot and cold on you. I don't see that energy changing, I'm going to say, in the next two months. That, I just have to be honest. That's what I'm seeing there. All right, we are going to clear up that energy <laughs> from our minds, from our hearts. We are going to reshuffle the deck and get Libra some, some more clear, helpful, insightful messages. That was a rough way to start, you guys. My goodness. <laughs> I did not hold back on you in that one, so please forgive me if that was too blunt, but uh, I'm, I'm wanting these messages to serve you, and that, yeah, that was that energy was ugh, just awful. All right, here we go. Here we go. Libra. In a, let's connect with either a new group of Libras or see what else might be coming into Libra. Who's coming in? Who's coming in, please? <laughs> all right two of pentacles here we go libra buckle up buckle up all right why the two of pentacles the fool all right mm. it's the fool energy they're, they're like doing a dance with you i'm hearing like do si do um again there's kind of like an in and out i don't know if it's necessarily that they're not into you let's let's pull some more so what is this person's plans with libra plans please all right, Nine of Pentacles. I think they want to treat you right, but they may be holding tightly to their independence and, and sort of not necessarily wanting to rush into a relationship. I think that's what the Fool card is. You're dealing with a person who really appreciates their freedom, and while they do think about sort of combining a life with you or they think about moving in closer or making something more official, the way their energy is presenting right now, they're a little bit on the fence. So their plans is that, you know, they, they want to treat you right. They want to shower you with compliments. They want to take you out to dinner and, you know, do, do all the things. You know, I, I'll be honest, sometimes this can be a materialistic card, right? Um, I mean, I think they want to show up for you and impress you. I think... I don't know, there's a certain amount of loyalty that comes with this card, but I almost think they're very loyal to their bachelor, bachelorette lifestyle. Um, so let's pull a little bit more. What are they thinking or communicating to Libra? Yeah, well, there's that energy again. It's like, oh my God, you're my everything. I love you so much. But you're like, great, let's move in together. And they're like, Mwah. ooh, Libra. Okay, so let's just get down to it. What is the emotional truth then? How does this person actually feel? Because what they're communicating to you is that they, you mean a lot to them. But nines are very much independent energy too. So in a way, what this person is thinking and not saying is that it's almost like, and don't take this the wrong way, Libra. I actually think in some ways this message is very healthy. It's like, I want you, but I don't need you. Like you are not going to make me happy. I make me happy. And that's something I'm not going to be able to let go of. Um, not to say that you don't contribute to their happiness, but in, I don't know, the more I read the Nine of Cups, it really is like, 
it's our ability to self-soothe. Like when we're when we're down, the ability to be able to like pick ourselves back up and and um, you know not not um, by means of like skirting over the issue, but it's it's understanding that you know you're responsible to to make yourself happy and and to immerse yourself in good energy and and find the silver lining at the end of the day, right? And it's great that you can do that for other people, but this person needs to be able to do that for themselves. And the thing is, I think they do. So in some ways, I actually do like the energy, but I'm curious to see where you fall on this because I don't know if you're looking for very quick commitment, I'm not sure you're gonna get that. <clears throat> so what is the emotional truth? Whoever this person is, how do they actually feel about Libra? What's going on underneath the surface? What is what is their heart actually communicating here in this reading? Whatever we're allowed to know. How do they feel? <sighs> They're tr it's like they, they like having your attention or they like giving you attention. What is the magician pointing to? What is the truth of the matter, the emotional truth? This person filters their emotions through their logic, which is complicated. <laughs> uh, this, yeah, this person filters their emotions through their logic. So you might be dealing with another air sign, a Gemini Libra Aquarius. <clears throat> As the Aquarius card comes out, they can do both, but they do both in balance. This person does not rush into anything. This person definitely doesn't make head over heart decisions. If anything, they make um, well, yeah, actually, I, I guess that is what I mean. This person tends to lean more into the logical side of things than letting the, their emotions get the better of them. Um, I, there is something about being future oriented and not wanting love and romance and relationships to distract from whatever their, their goals are. Maybe it's like career goals or whatever. <clears throat> I don't know. This is, this is kind of a harsh message. I, oh gosh, I, I wanted to get you guys a good reading, but I can only do what the cards are telling me. And part of me is wanting to say this person values the friendship, but I'm not sure they're looking to rush into anything romantic, even if you guys were already intimate. Uh, and I don't necessarily know if that's the case. This could be someone that you have a crush on and you feel like, you know, maybe they flirt back with you or whatever, but it's it's like there's the fun of flirting, but it's almost like they draw a line in the sand in terms of like what they're willing to do. And, and yeah, I don't know. The truth is you have a friendship card coming up here. Um, and, and that is sort of clear to me here too with like this back and forth with the fool energy. It's like, do I want to be free or do I want to be committed? Do I want to just enjoy this and have fun? Or do, you know, do I want to get more serious about this? So the emotional truth is that I think at some point in time, you guys are going to have a conversation about the future, the magician to the star. Um, that might be something that needs to come out in the open because both these cards are very exposed cards, right? I mean, quite literally, it's, it's very vulnerable. She's, she's nude. She's naked. She's out there, you know, for all to be seen. And then with the magician, it's like this bright glowing yellow card, right? It's, it's the master communicator, but it's, it's, it's the master manipulator, but more in the sense of like ener energy work. Um, I do think some conversation is going to come to the surface where we have to look at something in a very realistic, kind of practical way. Um, so where is Libra's energy on this? Where is Libra's energy on this? How are they showing up in regards to this person? The Wheel of Fortune. So you think this is going to be your big break. You think this is like a, a stroke of good luck. You see a future with this person or there's just like a playful, joyful energy you feel when you're with them. Do, does Libra have plans? Uh, what are their, you know, forward movements or actions? Mm, you're looking to call them back. It's like this person, again, like kind of this hot and cold energy. This person may shower you with compliments and blow up your phone and then they kind of go dark for a week and like you're trying to get them to communicate with you again. Um, you may also be revisiting a conversation about or making plans to, to go travel or take some sort of like weekend trip with them. Maybe you guys were planning on like going to a concert together or something of the sort. It's like at one point in time, there was discussion of plans to take a little like day trip or a fun trip, something to do with travel. And that, that seemed to have like fallen by the wayside. And so you may be trying to like reactivate that conversation or, or revisit a conversation about doing something fun and playful, setting a date. Um, yeah, it's like you're trying to get them to ask you out is sort of what I see here with the Page of Wands. <clears throat> All right, so what is Libra thinking or communicating to this person? What is Libra thinking or communicating to this person? I think what you're thinking is 
you see potential in this connection, but you struggle to understand how it's going to come together because it, I'm, I'm hearing that term, you can only lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. It's like you're putting yourself out there, you're putting the vibe there, but it's like this person isn't necessarily taking the bait. And I'm not necessarily saying you're being strategic. I think you're showing up as yourself, you know, lighthearted, good energy, wanting to be cute, wanting to be playful, wanting to be helpful, whatever it is. But, it, it, you know, with the lover's card, it does indicate sometimes challenges it's like we have these two people and in theory oh it's the lover's card it's beautiful it's great but there's like a mountain between them so we have, we have to look at well what's the mountain what's the obstacle what are these people trying to conquer or you know what is getting in the way of these two coming together because in theory with the angel showing up there's potential for this to come together but is it karmic is it because you're meant to learn a lesson or is it because together you guys are going to be stronger and then um you know you're still going to learn things from each other but like is it is it a stronger form of, of love the thing is like the this person doesn't have bad cards coming through there's just something about the energy of wanting to maintain their independence they very much value their freedom you might be dealing with a Sagittarius you might be dealing with a Virgo you might be dealing with a Gemini <clears throat> I, I mean, I think you're wanting this to come together in a, a more consistent way, and you're not always going to get that with the lover's card. So I think you kind of have to be very realistic about what you're willing to tolerate here. I don't think this person treats you bad. I just think, again, it's in and out. It's hot and cold. I don't even know if you guys have been a, a, an established couple yet. This almost feels like a flirty situation or someone that maybe you're friends with them. You're in the same social circles and there's always that kind of like, oh, hey, what's up? But like it's, it doesn't really go anywhere. And I think you're very much like, OK, like tonight's the night or, or something like that. You seem eager to like, you know, progress things forward with the Wheel of Fortune. Is is Libra communicating anything to this person? I mean, I think you're flirting with them with the Page of Wands. Is Libra communicating anything? I think you're afraid to because you don't want to scare them off or you don't want to say the wrong thing or you don't want to make them feel like they're they're being forced into any scenario. But I think you have very passionate, very deep feelings, but it's almost like you're trying to conceal that. You may be trying to play it cool. Um and, and I get that. It's very easy for me to say that on the other side of this tarot reading. But to a certain extent, if the feelings are that real and deep, it's almost like you're punishing yourself by not communicating that and being a little bit more forward with how you're feeling. Because ultimately, you're never going to say the wrong thing to the right person. So if you do communicate that, hey, like, I'm really into you, you know, that's a mild way of saying what the tower is showing me. And they just to sit there and go, huh, that's nice. Well, then at least you have some clarity and you know that they're not your person um, or, you know, depending on what their reaction is, that's going to tell you a lot. You know, if if they treat you with kindness and respect, you know, if they accept that offer if or even if they decline it, but in, in a mature way that, again, like um, <laughs> can appreciate that you've, you're put your, putting yourself in a vulnerable position and expressing a very real truth, the right person, they're going to handle that with maturity. Right. And. I don't know what is this person communicating anything to Libra it's like there's a wish fulfillment card here but I'm almost getting it's like it's very satisfying to me there's something very satisfying and like that's not sexy like like do better I don't know I think there's a part of them that sees you as a future prospect I I know I know like that's a that's a weird way of phrasing it but it's like this person is very satisfied not having a title or not putting anything in a certain box. Again, the idea of freedom, you might be dealing with an Aquarius and they have a very different love language. Um, is this person communicating anything to Libra? Yeah, so small, small gestures of, of love and flirtation. You both have pages. So here's the thing, like, I think... There's no reason why you can't keep hanging out with this person and enjoying their company if that's how you view it. But if every time you see them, you're hoping that this miraculous transformation occurs and they, they finally see the error of their way and they come rushing into your arms and profess their, you know, their undying affection for you. I don't think that's realistic. I don't see that happening. I think this person is flirty. I think this person is warm. I think they enjoy you and your mind and your intellect. They think you're beautiful. They think you're witty. So yeah, part of me is like, you want to shake them and be like, what's your problem? Like, why aren't you 
But honestly, a huge priority for them right now is not getting stuck in some sort of commitment. It's it's possible that they're new, you know, fresh out of a, an old relationship, and and it's like they're they're enjoying their freedom, they're enjoying their singlehood, and not having to check in with anyone. Or do you know what I mean? Have that responsibility of being in a relationship because that's the thing. At the end of the day, it is a responsibility, and so part of me likes that energy and that you know they do take it seriously. I think if they're going to be with someone and they're just not looking for that at the time. Um, so as long as they're not giving you false impressions or, or gaslighting or moonlighting or however you want to say it, as long as they're not pretending to be something they're not, I don't think they are. Like, I, I have mixed feelings about this because I don't want you to put your life on, on hold or on pause for this person. I'm going to say for the next two months, the energy looks friendly and warm, but that's all it looks like. I would say things here could start to change and develop in a different way when this person starts to realize like, wow, I actually really do like hanging out with Libra like a lot. Like I'm going home and I'm actually thinking about them more. Um, I just, yeah, I, I hesitate to say that because I don't want you to like, you know, hang your dating life up on the shelf for this person. I think you need to match their energy. So if this person's going out and mingling with different people and just being social, but keeping it light, I think you need to do the same thing um, and 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 check yourself that, you, that you're not falling deeply in love with someone who isn't mirroring that back to you. And the only way you're really going to know is to have that conversation. And that can be scary, but I mean, you're an air sign. You were, you were the initiator of conversation, Libra, right? The initiator of connection and relationships. That's a very important like life lesson for Libra to learn is a cardinal sign, <laughs> right? You kind of have to step up and start things sometimes. And yes, sometimes it's more fun to be chased, but sometimes that's not the way of the world. So, all right. Uh, what is the emotional truth here for Libra? What is the emotional truth? <clears throat> I think you want to build with this person, but you understand that you have to be cautious about it, uh, especially if this is a workplace scenario. If this is someone you work with or see on the regular, it's kind of like, you understand that there's there's a, a need to be a little bit responsible and mature in how you go about this, but I think you know I think the truth is you enjoy spending time with them. I think you you find reasons to walk past their desk. It's that kind of thing, <laughs> or or whatever, or you find reasons to be like, oh my god, I was I was thinking about you and sending them a picture. It's like, well, you've been thinking about them all day. <laughs> like let, let's be real. <clears throat> yeah, Queen of Cups, you have a lot of, you have a lot of feelings for this person for sure. Again, it's it's a little bit concealed. It's a little bit concealed with the tower. I think you feel I think you feel a lot of things for this person, but you're a little bit apprehensive to to put it out on the line there. I don't know. I do think someone's going to make a gesture to connect more. Um I think this is a seed. I think this is a seed that could grow into something greater, but we have to remember it's like the slowest moving element, that earth energy. So I wouldn't expect miracles overnight. Again, I'm going to reiterate what I've said. This person really likes their freedom. They don't want to be in anything that makes them have to check in with someone or, hey, I'm going out with my friends. I'll be back at eight. They don't want that. They, they want it to keep loosey-goosey, baby. Um, so again, depending on what stage this is in, maybe that's healthy to just call it a friendship and maybe there's a little bit of flirtation that goes on. That's going to be consistent for the next, like I said, like two, three months. It's going to be friendship with, I don't know, maybe it's friends with benefits. I don't know. The, the magician to the star can be discussion of, of sex, right? Um, or, you know, looking at pictures, dot, dot, dot. You get it. You get it. That, that's very much like a sexting combination for me, but that's what's coming up in the emotional truth. Like I'd like to see a little bit more, um, um, you know, the, the star is Aquarian energy. So, you know, unless they're holding on to a past person, maybe they have an ex who was an Aquarius. I don't really get that, though. I think they are fiercely, fiercely independent and, and very apprehensive to get involved in anything that would um, that would uh, have them have to negotiate for that. Anyway, let's let's look at the love oracles. So uh, help me confirm what Libra needs to hear in regards to this person, this situation. Shock, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, and transformation. All right. I, I don't hate that. I, I I don't really get that this person is, like, dubious in any way. I just don't. I, I just, yeah, maybe the transformation happens over time and this becomes something more committed or more connected. Girl with a snake, charmed or used, enabled, and boundaries. <clears throat> I feel like this is you putting yourself out there, just like making all the moves and just feeling like you're you're not getting too much back. 
Oh, Libra. And then death. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform. What's dead is dead. Um, I'm going to be honest. I think this has to do with what, what went on in the past with this person's ex or with your ex. I do think you're being asked to move on to new things. You may also be dealing with a Scorpio, too. This, to me, is like a very, you know, Scorpio energy. Yeah, to me, that's just like a confirmation that, like, yeah, twin flames, yin yang balance, union duality, complement polar opposites. Thank you, spirit. Um, I I don't think this this is not a juggling card in terms of people. This is someone who's like, I'm not in a, like my freedom and independence is non negotiable here. If you start coming at me with, well, where were you last night? This person is gonna dip. And and the thing is, they don't have that energy. I think they want to stay around. I think they want to be friends, but I don't think they want too much more from from you at the moment. That being said, I think this transformation with the tower. I think again in in the I don't want to say near future. We're talking a few months down the road. If you guys are still hanging out consistently and and the energy is warm, I think someone. I think this person may may take a risk at, you know, maybe they try and kiss you or something like that with the Page of Cups. I, I do think there's something here where something is offered, but it takes this person time to, to get a vibe and, and to see what's really up with you. They may be coming in a little bit suspicious that you're trying to take away their freedom or try and get them to do something that they're not ready to do. So you may have to, you may have to take it a little bit slow. This actually ended better than I thought, though. I'm going to say at first I was like, ooh, this person is completely like not into it. But no, they are like, I mean, even looking at their cards, their cards are good just yeah, realistic expectations. Realistic expectations. For Libra, anything else we can share with them? A confirmation, an affirmation? Let's see. Flying broom. I can let go of my mistakes. <clears throat> Any other words we can share with Libra? For Libra, for Libra. Flexibility. I think that's a, a very good word for this reading. Something about the tiger. Tiger stripes, someone who wears striped clothing. I don't know what that is. And then adventures. Yeah. All right. So so maybe that trip that you talked about or that little getaway, it's like this person's like, oh, my God, you've never been hiking here. I totally have to take you. It's my favorite spot. And you're like, oh, my God, I hope they ask me. I think they will. I, I think whatever this little revisit of a conversation of, of that thing you wanted to do together, that trip, that weekend getaway or whatever it is, I, I do think that's going to come to fruition. I, I do. You just, oof, you got you to gotta exhale. You got to breathe a little bit. Don't try not to get too agitated by this. And then inner peace. Perfect card for Libra. Yeah, if this is really upsetting your internal balance, your inner peace, you're, it's probably not the right person for you. Um, but if you can approach this relationship in, in, a, in a different way and just understand what it is, there's no reason why you can't enjoy this. All right. Let's see. So numerology, um, look for angel numbers, license plates, receipts, mailboxes, etc. 66, I am positive, And then 999, I am unique. All right, guys, that's what's up. Thanks for joining me today, Libra. I hope this was only helpful and insightful. That's that's only what I'm ever striving to do here. Um, you, you do have some a little bit of tricky energy here, but I appreciate you joining me today. Um, show me some love and hit the like button. I would greatly appreciate it if you could leave a positive comment or even share your story if you're brave enough to do so. Leave an emoji. Anything like that helps this reading find a greater audience on YouTube, and it helps my channel grow. If you're not already, I invite you to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you'll be alerted when I post readings. And if you want more content from me, I am on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for joining me today, Libra. I'm the Intuitive Teacup, and I will see you soon for more tarot.